in race at the Calgary Stampede. The animal finished on a broken leg and then had to be euthanized. Stampede officials quickly investigated what happened, handing down a record fine against the offending driver. But as CTV's Reg Hampton reports, even people who participate in the races say fines can't eliminate the danger. It was the first heat of the night. On the first turn, a rookie driver tries to make a move, but he is in too close and collides with another driver's team. It was just a very bad, bad judgmental error on my part uh, to go down that quick. I should have stayed out. This is a result of it. We lost the horse. The commission that oversees the races has issued its largest fine ever. Cunningham must pay $12,500, $10,000 to compensate the driver whose horse had to be euthanized after the race. We want to send a message. Uh, driver error will happen, but we want the drivers to to do their utmost to uh, to avoid that type of incident in the future. Leading the pack is Ross Knight. It's the second horse to die at this year's chuck wagon races, but that's far fewer than last year when six died. Critics count more than 50 horse deaths since 1986. The stampede has been trying to improve safety. There are more veterinarians, and the number of outriders who must follow the wagons on horseback has been reduced from four per team to two to cut down on traffic on the track. The Calgary Humane Society says it is saddened by the horse deaths this year and will review what happened and make recommendations after the stampede closes tomorrow night. But the drivers here say no matter what anyone says, they are committed to their sport and their horses. And I hope this is the last time this happens in my racing career, but I'm not saying it's going to be, but I mean, none of us guys out there want to hurt any of these horses. The winner of the Stampede's first chuck wagon race in 1923 won $25. Today, drivers are motivated by a $150,000 prize. Reg Hampton, CTV News, Calgary.